Database Design Once you have a handle on your data and its location or tier structure, it's time to think in terms of database design, which is the process of organizing data so that it can be easily accessed, manipulated, and updated via a digital database program. A few fundamentals of database design. Databases are built around records with these characteristics. The structural unit of a record is called a table. A table represents the major or the highest level of groups or collections in your overall record. For example, your database may have tables that represent things like authors, products, or players for a sports database. You want to think in terms of your most populated groups and divide them into tables. Within tables, you'll find columns, which are the major subdivisions of the table. Each column is a major subcharacteristic of the table's subject. So, for example, your table might be called authors and include a column called names or books or genre or anything that applies to the author. Each column is then separated into rows, which hold data that spring naturally from the columns and which are horizontal presentations of the column's data content. For example, beneath the names column is a list of each author's name. And all databases feature a primary key, which is a unique identifier for each row. So, for example, your author table might have an author number as a primary key since two authors could have the same name. Your purpose in database design is to find relationships to determine how data is presented in one table that might be related to another. For example, in your sports database, a player table might be related to a video table as a player and appears in one or more of the videos. You want to identify where additional columns or whole tables might be needed because of these relationships. For example, if a significant number of player records relate to a significant number of video records, it might be wise to set up a player video table just for that player's video in order to associate the two concepts that are related to that record. Also, You'll need to adapt to the technology solution at hand in the form of your database program or database server, as you will hear it called. You'll need to comply with the database program's nomenclature. Each program requires specific names for tables, columns, and so forth. You'll need to figure out linking, as each program provides a way to build and link the database from presentation through processing and data tiers. Notice in this database design example, the designer has organized the data exactly as we described, into columns and rows, and identified a primary key. Your next task is to move your data out of the database and onto your user's interface. Most likely, you will only use a small bit of your overall available data volume at any given time. For example, mapping applications may only show one location or address, but call on databases that can be enormous. Your challenge then is to get the data from the data source or the database to your user accurately in just the right amount and as quickly as possible. Your tool to do this is known as the database call which is an operation written from the presentation layer to instruct processing and storage. Your call directs the data operation be it input, retrieval, manipulation, or others. Once you've developed a database and created your calls, you're ready to test your design. Your data performance will spring from your entire overall process. If you've identified the right data, organized it well, created meaningful tables, and call it or present it in a useful format, then you can test your data at the interface tier. Your major concern is to make sure that your call works as it's designed and of course to make sure your users will understand the data as it's presented. Finally, you can use those test results to adjust your data performance at the processing or storage tier. If necessary, this is the time to create or eliminate tables or columns or to improve the quality and performance of your calls in order to clean up the database and make it move and operate as efficiently as possible. This has been a brief overview of database design.